Okay, so um, I think we can start the webinar now, Frode and uh, Diederik. Um, I just want to give you a welcome to everybody that is joining today, the webinar. Um, and today is going to be about Primode project, and we are going to learn a bit more with uh, Frode Jacobsen and, and Diederik Arendot, who will be presenting themselves uh, in a bit. Uh, in the screen, first of all, I want to take the advantage and uh, present our Nanterre conference uh, that will be this year in Paris and uh, in, in Nanterre uh, on the 30 and the 1st of October on primary care and local communities, health equity for everyone everywhere. And just remind you that the call for abstracts is open and it will, the deadline will be on the 1st of May. Uh, so once said that, uh, I'm going to give the floor to Frode and Diederik to start the webinar and uh, uh, I will ask them uh, to please turn on their camera so that everybody can see you and just present yourself and, and then turn it off. Uh, to the people in the audience, <laughs> it's really nice to oh, see you oh. but we cannot open everyone's camera so please, uh, except Frode and Diederik, please just close your cameras. Um, yes. So, uh, and also ask Diederik and, and Frode to, uh, well, let the people know that they can actually make questions to you uh, via the chat box. So everybody can write uh, on the chat box if you have any questions so they can answer at the end of the presentation. So saying that, uh, Frode and Diederik, you have the floor, especially Frode, if you want to start first, will be great. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy to start. Yeah, um, it's uh, actually my first time to join this uh, webinar forum, uh, so I'm uh, I'm uh, kind of excited by uh, by this uh, great opportunity, uh, really to uh, 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 with this a uh, great opportunity really to um, uh, to meet with you across Europe. Uh, it's such a, a such a wonderful thing. Um, uh, could you turn uh, to the next slide? Splendid. Yeah. Um, actually, um, I'm uh, well. I'm from uh, Bergen, Norway. I'm a research leader of a small center for uh, um, uh, for research on uh, primary care and the long-term uh, care services. Uh, so we are five such uh, regional centers in uh, in Norway uh, established by the Norwegian health authorities uh, we, and we have been uh, functioning for uh, around 10 years by now uh, anyhow we got a wonderful opportunity uh, to uh, uh, apply for network money from the Norwegian Council for Research which is uh, like the the main donor when it uh, has to do with uh, economic support for research in our country. Um, usually they, they uh, uh, tend to support uh, single events, uh, single uh, network uh, events or maximum uh, one year. But this time we got this uh, uh, wonderful opportunity to apply for three years and we got the opportunity to uh, to uh, to um, uh, establish uh, Primora, uh, this uh, European primary care multi-professional research on network. Uh, so we are so happy we got the funding, uh, and uh, so, so that we got the re uh, a support from October 2018 and for three years. Uh, there are three participants in uh, in. Uh, in this um, application, uh, the five mentioned uh, centers for care research, uh, where our center in the Western Norway uh, is the is the project leader. Uh, uh, I'm uh, very grateful for for the full support and the participation of European former Forum for Primary Care. Uh, also joining us uh, is the research unit for general practice, uh, uh, Uni Research Health, uh, uh, in uh, also also here in Bergen. Uh, the main goals uh, is to uh, create opportunities for primary care researchers and long-term care researchers from different professions, arenas, and countries for developing 
and sharing knowledge that can improve the quality of a primary care and long-term care services. Um, uh, we uh, very much envision uh, mutual learning between the different participating countries uh, uh, with a focus on promising practices. And, and I have to say that uh, I, I myself uh, very much enjoy this concept of promising practices. It tells a bit more and a bit different thing than the concept of best practices, best practices, which is also an important concept. Uh, I mean, promising uh, pro, uh, uh, practices means that there might be, uh, we might uh, detect better practices in the future, but right now they seem promising. Uh, it might be that they uh, could be promising in one respect, but not in others, in one aspect. And uh, the third one, uh, promising means also promising in certain contexts. So it also has some context sensitivity to it. A anyhow, so 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 this is a concept that's kind of kind of a favorite of mine. Uh, we are seeking to bridge the monoprofessional approaches uh, often prevailing in primary care research and in long-term care research. Uh, we want to focus and investigate uh, the contextual conditions for the services and their cooperation or coordination with. Uh, on the one hand, specialized healthcare services, and the other hand, social services. Yeah, the next slide. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, we, uh, we are uh, seeking a, a increased interaction between uh, somewhat different traditions. Um, and maybe there are different traditions, perhaps, uh, for not for very good reasons, but uh, that's also something that could be discussed. But anyhow, primary care researchers on the one hand and uh, so-called long-term care researchers on the other hand often uh, uh, publish in different publishing channels. They tend to have uh, different profiles as to research focus, professionals involved and research methods. Uh, we seek a greater degree of uh, mutual learning and and uh, cooperation between those uh, traditions within the Primora uh, uh, network project. Uh, we have three main uh, thematic areas and uh, Diederik uh, will tell us uh, much more about that later on. Uh, the first one is healthy aging. Uh, the second one is mental health. And the third one is uh, organization and integration in primary care services. Uh, we seek an interdisciplinary approach within all the themes. Uh, and also we aim at uh, uh, um, making and publishing position papers for each thematic area. Uh, and and, and, uh, and uh, uh, EFPC, uh, has a, a, a very good relationship and a, a very good um, uh, accord with uh, with this uh, primary healthcare research and development journal, which might uh, uh, be the most relevant publishing channel. Uh, we have uh, five main uh, activities uh, we agreed on. The first one is to develop models for a multi-professional health uh, system and uh, uh, and services research in primary health care that connects uh, research policy and practice. Um, we want to support and initiate uh, exchange of knowledge and experience. Uh, thirdly, we want to support research in countries with low capacity for research. Um, also to undertake uh, dissemination uh, activities aimed at researchers, policymakers, and service providers. And fifthly and lastly, uh, develop forums for cooperation between researchers, policymakers, and practice. We think about the different points of uh, contact, uh, regular meetings for members of the network, both face to face uh, and virtually. Uh, focusing uh, specific uh, topics presented by individual members. 
secondly, meetings for the work group of each main theme. Uh, uh, and thirdly, a password pro protected website ha has already been established as, and is being developed. And Diedrich will also tell us much more about that. And <coughs> lastly, um, a PhD summer course will be organized with the aim of attracting young researchers. Uh, we uh, are planning to uh, have a, a Primor uh, launch meeting in uh, Utrecht, uh, or I suppose it's say Utrecht, maybe, uh, for the 28th and the 29th of March uh, this year. Uh, oh, sorry, the 2019, of course. Ah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, uh, so, and anyhow, it's it's uh, it's uh, approaching. But when you look at the picture, uh, maybe not the first association you get is uh, is the city of uh, of Utrecht. But uh, any, anyhow, it's in the vicinity of uh, Utrecht, not too far away from it. Is a is uh, is is a wonderful uh, uh, natural park or natural reserve that also Diedrich will tell us more about. That we will. Uh, used for the first part of, uh, uh, of of the launch meeting. So uh, anyhow, that's uh, what I would like uh, would like to share with you so far. So uh, thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, Prode, um, and uh, thank you all for indeed attending. Um, I've seen we are quite a, a number of people and a number of uh, different people uh, coming from uh, different professions, pharmacists, nurses, uh, uh, occupational therapists, um, uh, uh, medical doctors. So that's, that's indeed a promising uh, aspect of this uh, project. And so thank you for joining us in this webinar. Um, it was questioned already if uh, the uh, slides will be sent uh, to the participants. Um, uh, I've responding, responded already to through the uh, chat box that uh, we will record uh, the uh, webinar and then uh, put it on Pi. And that brings me directly to Pi uh, because that is, uh, I think, our main entrance, main platform where we will do our activities within Primora. Um, that has a background uh, uh, because we think as a European Forum for Primary Care, uh, we need to do more uh, during the year uh, with all our members. Uh, it should not depend only on our conferences and meetings, uh, but it should be also uh, on an online community. And uh, uh, better to have our own online commun community, and that is PI. In Pi, um, I'm just closing my webcam because uh, you know me all, uh, so that's not the most relevant thing. So now you can concentrate on um, the slides about Pi. Pi is about problems, ideas, and experiences. It uh, uh, provides you a wonderful cake, uh, which is delicious. So, uh, and it is easy to make uh, uh, Pi. You, you all know, you just uh, uh, have some apples, uh, some uh, 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 some ingredients and you get a great uh, pie. This is what we want to achieve uh, in the coming years, uh, also with Primor. So it has indeed ingredients. So you can uh, have your uh, uh, directions how to make that pie, and uh, you can put your personal touch. The ingredients are you. In fact. Uh, communication between those uh, uh, members of uh, uh, Primora. You can uh, share knowledge, ideas, uh, uh, problems uh, via the Pi. And you can uh, indeed uh, uh, try to have, in the end, innovative tools to solve community health problems. Um, it, it, I think it, it can break through organizational walls where all these different professionals and all these uh, uh, research uh, units are doing their own things, uh, we facilitate with PI the communication and collaboration. Um, it collects ideas which respond to, to the real challenges in community health. 
and uh, it, it, it will uh, provide you a, a, a possibility for quick dissemination of things you have discovered within your own research or you have discovered in your own practice. Um, and I think it's also uh, discovering hidden talents. Yeah? Uh, community innovators uh, who are silently doing their things in their own country or in their own village, uh, um, they will be able to, to work uh, uh, in, a, in a creative and in, in a um, uh, collaborative way. Um, it also has directions. So um, uh, you have to collect and arrange problems. Uh, and you can boil down new ideas and in the end bake good practices. And that's all what we want. Eh? Frodo already uh, suggested we, we, we want to see uh, uh, better practices in the end which provide good primary care uh, and long-term care to the uh, community, in, uh, to the population in Europe. But you also can put a personal touch and uh, the combination between discussion, debate and collaboration is already one thing. But uh, out of the box thinking, as you know, within EFPC, it is important. Uh, come up with your ideas uh, and don't think this is, this is dull or this is uh, stupid. And in the end, we will have the art shake. Uh, you know, we have been, uh, uh, have, we had already a good cooking workshop based on primary care uh, once in Amsterdam, but we will do more with uh, uh, preparing uh, food, but also with nature, as uh, Frodo already was suggesting. Nature and, and, and healthcare are uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, more nearer to each other than you, than you think. So that is uh, uh, the way Pi uh, is, the idea behind Pi. Um, how does it look like? Well, if you open Pi in practice, uh, some of you have done it already, uh, and I hope more uh, will do after this presentation, then you find this screen. Uh, it has uh, some uh, main, uh, a main menu with the home themes, expert opinions following. Uh, but the main issue is share your problem, problem share your ideas, share your experience, and sometimes share your uh, you have your own account uh, if you are uh, have entered to in, in uh, Pi and you gain points in uh, how active you are. And you see here the more most active users. Um, this is a contribution of Mehmet Akman, one of the coordinators of one uh, uh, theme, the, the, the uh, Organization of Primary Care theme in Primora. And he uh, makes here the question, what's the optimal practice size for primary care? And uh, in fact, all participants in Pi are uh, well requested to to give your comments uh, below. Uh, you can you can like it, of course, but that's that's the easy way. Uh, uh, giving a comment is is more interesting. Or uh, uh, combine this uh, uh, expert opinion with your own uh, idea and uh, link it uh, to this this expert opinion. Um, in the right, at the right uh, side of this, uh, the, 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 the page of, of opening page of Pi, you find popular topics and you also find the popular themes. The themes are, are, are uh, the first entrance, in fact, and here you have the Primora project. So if, if we go to the themes uh, uh, menu, which is here on the top, there you find all the themes where Primora is one of them. So we use as European form for primary care this for much more purposes. So also to, to improve our uh, conferences, the design of future EPC conferences, but also for some other, other working groups like the, the EMA, the European Medicine Agency working group. But um, we are concentrating now on Primora. Um, here is a contribution, for example, of uh, Frode, uh, who, sends, uh, uh, who says how to support healthy aging in primary care. And then you find indeed a response of me. There are already more comments, as you can see. The related comments are too, and uh, people start to, to react. And that's how we can, in the end, uh, um, uh, collect a lot of information, which then, in, uh, uh, in, if, if we continue with Primora, will end up in position papers or in summer courses uh, and so on. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, how uh, Pi works. 
Um, I can also go to the, to the live uh, uh, presentation of uh, the website, but I don't think that's, that's needed for now. If, if necessary, please let me know through the chat box and I can show you around in, in part. What I would like to do now is in fact, oh, this, is, this is the slide where I say, well, there is more, eh? there is more expert opinion. So the UN EFPC are the young professionals in EFPC and uh, here, for example, the EMA working group. So there is more than only Primora. So if you are in, interested, uh, uh, please have a visit. But what we are going to do now is trying to exercise a little bit in Pi and uh, uh, already starting up slowly within Primora to share those uh, this information. So uh, you have all the, the toolbox of GoToMeeting um, in, in your uh, screen and there you have the chat box. Uh, you can open the chat box and then uh, you can enter messages. Some of you have done it already by saying hello and uh, good, good afternoon, um, but now it may have some content. And the content uh, uh, should be related to uh, the P for problems, the E for ideas, the, the I for ideas and uh, the E for experiences. So um, I want to challenge you uh, to come up with your uh, uh, problems, ideas and experience through this chat box. Um, and this is the way you should uh, do it. Huh? Well, uh, uh, it's just, uh, uh, I wrote something down, uh, put, put a P or an I or an E in, in front and uh, give your, uh, uh, give your in, uh, input. But where to put your input? Well, uh, then we come also a little bit to the lounge meeting. As Frode uh, suggested and already uh, illustrated a little, nature is interesting. Uh, it can be used uh, to, to, to relax. It can be used as a, as a um, uh, well, uh, uh, an input uh, to think in a different way. And uh, so what we are going to do in the, during the lounge meeting, uh, for which I will give some more technical information later, is to, to, to link all kinds of uh, uh, primary care, healthcare issues to what we see in nature. And uh, here is the first one on the uh, first theme within Primora. It's about healthy aging. Um, we know that people are getting older. Uh, there is an increased demand for uh, support uh, uh, at older age, insufficient capacity at welfare, care services. Um, so we want to know from you uh, what are the drivers and barriers to support healthy aging at primary care level. The same question is already uh, asked by Frode uh, in, um, in the, in the part. So uh, we, we definitely want to, to get more uh, uh, ideas about that. And as a, to, 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 to challenge you and to uh, um, uh, to make you more, um, to, to influence a little bit the, the whole discussion is here is a metaphor, um, which you also see in, 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 in reality during the lounge meeting. Badgers, eh, that's, that's a, a spe species, do well in Holland since they are better protected. Now they cause increased di disturbance for citizens living close to their settlements, holes in their uh, gardens, uh, uh, bitten, uh, uh, other animals, uh, and, and etc. So what are the solutions? And I'm a bit provocative. Uh, we, we can hunt them and make them the, 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 the number smaller. We can close their ter territories or we get used to it or different options. So uh, getting back to, the, to these questions, I, um, I'm going to try uh, to concentrate myself on the chat uh, maybe invite some people of you to explain your contributions um, and uh, so that uh, uh, that you will uh, uh, that we have a, an interesting discussion then I will take over the uh, the screen so I can uh, get my uh, go to a bit bigger and you bring in your contributions let me see if I can make it bigger my own well, anyhow, I will do it this way. Um, where it is? 
Um, that's going quick. Um, A lot looks great. Anyway, there is here uh, um, uh, health and social care strongly related, uh, especially in rural areas where social determinants of health have great influence, and we need to find ways. Yeah, that is that is on the on the, on the, on the, I think on the organization of primary care issue where Mehmet uh, uh, raised uh, an issue. Um, let me go a bit back. Um, can we clarify perhaps? Yeah, well, that, that, that's coming in, uh, Sally, about the, uh, the lounge meeting and the conditions. Uh, I will definitely uh, uh, do on that. Um, but maybe I will want to um, uh, uh, challenge uh, uh, Jill, if I can uh, give you the floor. If you say, uh, talking about healthcare, social care, or both, Linked to this 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 healthy aging issue, how would you see this uh, uh, combination and make sure that uh, uh, these these barriers are uh, uh, getting down? Jill, I will give you the uh, floor. Uh, maybe you can give some uh, explanation. You have already the course. Go ahead. Um, oh gosh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> you caught me on. <laughs> um, I suppose you can't really. Um, uh, separate the healthcare needs and the social care needs of our aging population um, but in a lot of countries they are separate budgets um, and separate services and it's very difficult to access um, both services so I know in Ireland at the moment we have um, some pilot um, uh, programs on an integrated um, services for people over 65 to stop them having to go into the emergency departments if they are unwell um, and we have some they're like day hospitals but we're not calling them day hospitals um, so they're, they're they have all of the services in them but they're situated in the primary care setting rather than the acute hospital um, mm -hmm. So it's, it, it, and it's, it's to try, so you can get GPs can refer people in, or if they go into the accident and emergency department, the consultants can refer them in. Um, so the, 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 so it's, it's to try and stop them from having to go into the acute hospital system. And it's if they yep. have health problems or social problems, um, if they're found to be living on their own and um, not coping. Um, so that's, that's the sort of thing, um, that I'm thinking of in integrating health and social care. And then in, in respect to healthy aging, uh, um, uh, I assume there is also the tendency in, in Ireland to, to bring people back in to, uh, into normal life, uh, not uh, having them in closed residencies. Uh, but that, that, then, then you need uh, drivers, and, but you also have barriers. Are there things going on in Ireland in that respect? Um, we certainly are trying to reform our um, funding for, um, so we have a very good funding system for people that have to go into nursing homes, um, but now they're trying to extend that to fund people to enable them to stay at home in their own home with, with services, so that yeah. they don't have to go into a nursing home, that they can actually be cared for at home. Yeah. So that was yeah. something that we're going to try and sort of um, research and bring to the Pi platform um, at some stage, just the different funding models that enable people to stay in their own homes rather than having to go into nursing homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the sort of thing that you're looking at? Pushing yeah, definitely. This? Definitely, definitely. Thanks a lot. May, may I go to, to Cyprus? Elena Russo, uh, you, you uh, expressed interest in Primora, and, and certainly you express now the, at, at your end the new government. The government is trying to reform healthcare system. How do they deal with this question 
people getting older wants to stay at home um, and, and what kind of dri drivers and barriers are, uh, are they confronted with in, uh, in the new design of, of primary health care. Yelena, can you um, open up your microphone or Diana, can you do this? Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah? Can you, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the reforming of the healthcare system just now started. Um, they tried to introduce the um, social uh, healthcare system um, because now in Cyprus, um, um, mostly it's private, private sector um, that provides care um, and not the government. So they tried to change this, but they do have um, too, ma too much conflict on this. Um, I don't know what is going to happen, <laughs> but uh, we will learn in a um, couple of months, I guess. Now, regarding older people, what is happening now? Um, old people either go to aging houses. Um, I mean, um, again, they have to pay on their own. Very few money are given by the government and not to all the older people. Um, but the... Um, Usually the the relatives take care of their old parents and either they pay people to care for them at home. This is what is happening now in Cyprus. They try to change this and there are many um, discussions on how they will do this, but I can't know at the moment. I don't know what is going to happen. But I'm very interested to see what other countries are doing. Um, what are the best practices in other countries? Uh, okay. Primary care. That is Thank why. You, that, that helps. I, I, I hope you will you will be able to join further. Um, okay. Let Let me ask Sally Sally Kendall, our our uh, chair of the uh, EFPC, who says that in the UK they should badges uh, badgers because uh, they and and but in the end uh, um, uh, they the, the TB <laughs> continues so there is there is a lot of uh, difficulties out of that um, and you say well uh, it's evidence of prevention and protection of people in older age is, is that is, is that important and how do we can convince uh, those policymakers Sally can, can you give a little bit more of, of, of an explanation on this? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think it's just um, following through with your metaphor. You know, if we try to ignore the situation or, or simply, you know, eliminate it through through some kind of um, process of, of um, disguising the the problem in in some way, or just continuing to allow people to 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 be admitted into acute care which is you know often where you know will will bring people's death forward it doesn't actually solve the problem and it certainly increases the cost um then we do need to look at other models and other ways of preventing um difficulties and and you know looking at ways of protecting and supporting people to live in their own homes and to die in their own homes and to avoid all the complexities of, of acute acute care. And I think that there are, you know, there are models that are being developed and that maybe in Primori we could start to think about how some of those models might um, fit in other healthcare systems. Um, and in a sustainable way. Because I think, you know, I've just put up this link about the work that we're doing in England around integrating primary and community care with acute hospital care and with public health. And of course, you know, who knows, at the end of these um, pilot sites, there's a big evaluation going on. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of evidence about what needs to be done to integrate care, but it's how we make that sustainable. 
yeah. and how you then work with that um, on a, in a European context, is there anything that could be learned that we could share um, across across the forum and across Primori? Um, and uh, yeah, so I think you know Primori gives us a great opportunity to to, to really share these these um, examples from other countries because yeah. we all share the same problem. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Sally. Um, I, I, I just uh, want to, to, uh, to raise your attention to the contribution of, of Jan de Belli. I don't, I'm not going to give you the floor, uh, Jan, sorry for that, but just quickly, uh, he, he says, uh, as for other protected species, it would be good to chip the badgers so that their movement and their locations can be visualized and we get an understanding on their habits. Then we have to identify why they are seeking close contact with humans and can cause uh, the causes. Well, in fact, you are saying about the elderly. Well, let's let's increase our information. Uh, uh, what what are their uh, um, uh, uh, what are their needs? What are their uh, uh, normal habits? And uh, um, uh, adjust our care provision uh, uh, to these kind of uh, needs and, and and habits. And I think that's that's a that's indeed a, a great contribution, which is also the, the, the ob objective of, of Primora to, to bring this kind of research together to uh, better uh, uh, adjust our uh, care. Uh, let us go to the, to the next theme, uh, which is um, uh, mental health. Um, Diana, can you show the, no, the next? That's what the previous, yeah, mental health. How does a safe environment for mentally ill patients at community level look like? It's another question uh, raised also in, uh, in, in, a, in, in a position paper of the Mental Health Working Group, of which uh, uh, some of you are uh, present, uh, like uh, Dineke and Ian and Jill and, and um, uh, Lisa, I mean, uh, has just left. Um, so there is also the metaphor. Um, as you all know, maybe a duck decoy, yeah, where uh, uh, ducks are, are uh, coming together you see some pictures of it. Um, a duck decoy should attract ducks presenting a safe and attractive area which is closed and protected. But on the other hand, ducks only feel safe if they can fly away easy without barriers. Otherwise, uh, they, they cannot escape if there is a real uh, danger. How should the environment around a good functioning duck decoy look like? Yeah? And that's related how mentally ill patients, which are, uh, well, uh, uh, people who, who, need, who need to be, uh, have on a certain way protection, but also should be able to, to get along in community. How would you tackle this? Can you respond with some problems, ideas, or experiences? Um, there is a lot, eh? I'm, I'm almost not, uh, 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 we, we will, uh, collect everything and then uh, see how we can uh, uh, use that for uh, for next session and within Pi. Um, okay, Stephanie, can I give you the floor? Um, uh, maybe with uh, uh, it, it should be near the community, for instance, sports accommodation and community social meeting points. Is that uh, the way uh, to give uh, um, uh, a possibility to fly away, in fact? Open your microphone. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, go ahead. I, um, I, I think that uh, by being uh, in a, the same um, physical as, uh, environment, people get to know other possibilities. We are starting in my village uh, sports accommodation with a swimming pool and a social community. Um, meeting point and all sports facilities and what we uh, try to do is to get the people the youngsters and the elderly there together so they get to know to know each other and people who are swimming the elderly will also go to the social point uh, meeting point and will mix up with the youngsters and 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 if we have also the uh, uh, PTs and OTs there, then it would be easier for the people who need advice to step in 
and see it as a normal procedure to ask advice or support before things are getting really bad and worse. So I think by getting everything in a sort of normal surroundings, then it would be easier and people f would feel more comfortable to, to um, ask for advice or support. Yeah. Uh, uh, in, indeed, it, it, uh, it should be uh, uh, easy, accessible, um, but still it should give, give the feeling that they are protected, that they are not in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation that is, is uh, um, well, make them afraid. And I think that's, that's the challenge uh, at community uh, care, at community level, that we, we provide both. Um, uh, a way of protection and a way of uh, flying away. Ian and Lisa, uh, you have been very experienced about all this. Uh, could you uh, provide uh, um, some words on this issue, on mental health? Uh, 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 please uh, open up your microphone maybe, or Diana can help. And then we, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we've just um, posted that mental health is non-discriminatory. So when you're looking at the um, duck decoy, what's so important is that there's no barriers, that you remove the barriers, and to remember that actually it affects all of us at any time, at any one time, and that's the caregivers, the people with mental health. So it's not about having a separate area. It's about that everywhere should feel safe and protected, and believe that very strongly. It actually links with the first thing because most people, as they get older, get more than one illness. Um, and very often it's a, a comorbidity between mental and physical illnesses is huge and it uh, both need to be looked after um, it, it, in, uh, in complex patients in elderly care. So a good primary care environment is an environment that's open to the local community that they can be involved in. And I think there's issue, things like social prescribing and other things that are happening now that can make a real difference. Yeah, okay, okay, thanks a lot. Uh, Dineko, do you want to add something uh, as a, a long time uh, contributor to the mental health uh, uh, issues and you will continue uh, within your group to, to uh, make these issues uh, um, relevant uh, within Primora? Do you want to give a short comment? Can you open up your microphone? Or Diana can do that. an opportunity I can't do that no way that's a pity anyhow then then we continue uh, and if you want to make another comment uh, Dineke uh, please uh, let me know later um, I would suggest that we, we continue to the third theme uh, in order uh, to, to run, not to run out of time and also to give Mehmet some, uh, uh, the floor uh, to give some contributions. If you are still there, yeah, you are still there. Organization of primary care. If we concentrate on more community-based uh, based healthcare provision, we might have to close larger services like regional hospitals. Do we need citizen participation for such intervention? And if yes, what are the ways to facilitate this participation? And as a metaphor, I, I give you that, uh, and you will see that during the lounge meeting, uh, when we go through uh, the forest, uh, that some forest avenues with beach are very old, eh, more than 100 years. But at a certain point, they start to be dangerous trees are falling down, or at least parts of it. And if you walk there, uh, you will be dead. So uh, <laughs> that's a dilemma between uh, people who want to enter the, uh, the forest and, and stroll around. Uh, we want to keep nature uh, because uh, beach are uh, having a lot of uh, uh, nice animals uh, in, in, in those uh, trees. Uh, but there is also the issue of cultural heritage. Those, those avenues are, have been constructed uh, more than 100 years ago and you, you, you want to cons conserve this. So what are the solutions and what would you do this uh, with or with and would you do this with or without citizen participation? 
So um, the floor is yours. Um, and I also want to refer, and that's, that's particularly about, for the Dutch. Uh, in fact, we are closing now services and there was a, was a big uprise uh, by uh, residents of certain cities that they were suddenly confronted that their uh, nearest and, and, and beloved hospital was suddenly closed uh, uh, because of the insurance uh, companies didn't want to support it anymore. And that was uh, without any involvement of uh, um, uh, the, the citizens. So how how can we can, how can we do that? Um, do you have ideas, uh, or should I first give uh, maybe Mehmet uh, the floor, and then you can think about your uh, your own contributions? Mehmet, please. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear with a bit of echo, but that's okay. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, for the organization of primary care, actually this <clears throat> team uh, and the question you have asked is very relevant at the moment uh, for my country uh, because we are at the moment building up very large hospitals just the opposite way. Uh, so really I think uh, we need somehow the <clears throat> citizen participation uh, for uh, organizing primary care more uh, in the, on the community-based manner. And um, actually, maybe we can also think there about when we are doing this, uh, the social value of the primary care nowadays. So, I mean, it's um, function as a kind of a social cohesion among the communities as well. Um, and also for the organization parts um, in the PIPE platform, uh, already uh, another discussion is started um, about the roles of the, uh, each profession um, attending to primary care. So uh, maybe if we can the, describe better the teamwork uh, we do in the primary care and the skill mix there, then we can convince more uh, people to close down the hospitals. So uh, then we can see the uh, real functions of the primary care. That's in brief, I can say. Okay, thanks. Uh, in fact, what you're saying, we should also more use the the uh, the community, the, the the citizens, in order to to get uh, policymakers uh, convinced and, and uh, uh, committed to uh, uh, construct more uh, primary care in uh, this community. Um, so we, we, we should work more alongside uh, citizen represent representatives, uh, maybe patient groups um, that, that have uh, uh, sometimes a stronger voice than uh, that we have ourselves as uh, primary care professionals. Is that, is that also what you want to say? Yes, uh, exactly. So uh, we should have, uh, I mean, for sure, um, um, have communication with the um, uh, people who are uh, leaders in the community and have uh, participation with them. Um, and maybe even uh, in the organization of the primary care, I mean, there must be some voices of the citizens or the patients uh, be heard. I mean, we just uh, organize a lot of things. For example, in my country, we have done a big reforms uh, in the last decades, and it also changed the organization of primary care, but it was mostly from down approaches. So it was not really any decisions uh, or the running of the primary care system uh, from the citizen side. Okay, thanks. I, I, I'm, I'm curious, but it doesn't have to be uh, right now if you have to think more about it. Uh, uh, and I'm now asking to the participants. If you have ideas how to, to, to make alliances with uh, citizens' uh, representatives and, and, and patient organizations in, in order to, to get policymakers involved. So if you can think about this, this question and uh, make some comments in Pi. Uh, we would be very, very uh, uh, delighted, and 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 that will be uh, ending up in the in the position papers and in in other products of uh, of Primora in the end. Um, okay, well, I think um, uh, we should go uh, towards the end, and um, I want to ask Diana to open up the the next slide. 
uh, which is uh, about uh, no one more one back. Yeah, there it is. So this is a, a, a snapshot of um, the program of the launch meeting um, on the 28th and the 29th of March in indeed 2019, um, organized within the Primora uh, project. And uh, what we uh, are planning to do is to start at lunchtime, um, having a nice lunch in a restaurant next to the uh, uh, nature estate, and then going uh, to uh, the estate, which is called Einde Gooi, and uh, making a round tour in two uh, groups and having a sort of a competition with uh, questions uh, like you, you, you have been confronted with uh, uh, just now. Um, but but uh, 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 some more and some more uh, maybe even more difficult. But at that time, you also will see the real situation of the metaphor. Um, okay, I see that I have some difficulties with the audio performance. I hope I'm, I'm, you can still hear me. Um, what is important is that uh, uh, Primor is, is oh, by the way, we, we go into the estate and then we have a transfer to another place, uh, which is the, called the Naar der Meer, which is a lake, uh, one of the oldest, uh, in fact, the oldest uh, nature estate in the Netherlands. Um, and that uh, we will have some boat trips uh, over there, uh, also with the, the, the two groups in two different boats. Uh, continuing the assignments with the, the competition, and we ending up in a restaurant near the lake, uh, um, having dinner together and then uh, having some discussion in the evening. Um, the next day, we will continue at uh, the Nivel premises, our basis for the EFPC, and we will have the, the, the working groups on mental health, healthy aging, and organization of primary care. Uh, uh, giving the the, uh, the room for further discussion, um, so that that will be really a good kickoff uh, for Primora, and uh, that will of course continue again in Pine. How it is organized? The program in the Netherlands is completely covered by Primora, including uh, accommodation for the night uh, from Thursday to Friday. Um, the, what is not included? are the international travel costs. So you should uh, uh, be able to pay that by yourself. And there is another condition, uh, and that is uh, a clear one, uh, active at PI, and we want to challenge you to get an EFPC membership if you are not yet an EFPC member. Because uh, there is one thing important, PI is needed to give EFPC a continuity, and we also need your membership for our continuity. So there, there is our uh, um, not hidden agenda, it's an open agenda. Uh, we want to facilitate all this, these researchers, these different professionals to communicate, to share knowledge, to share uh, experiences. But, well, we need, we need you uh, to be active at PI and your membership. So maybe next slide, uh, Diana. Um, so if you are interested, and um, uh, uh, then please send a message to the EFPC secretariat. You see the, uh, the email address. And then uh, we will respond to you, uh, uh, giving you the login details for PI that will come from our um, uh, Turkish partner, which is Saklik Bahçesi, uh, a firm in Turkey which provides the whole format for, uh, for PI. They will provide you with the login details and uh, we will give you also some instructions on how to register for the launch meeting. Um, I think that's it for now. If you have uh, uh, practical questions, um, maybe you, um, you send them by email uh, to the same email address, which goes to Diana and me. And then we will respond to these uh, in a, on an individual basis. That's more easy than that I'm now going through this chat box with all these uh, questions. Um, so what I want to ask uh, Frode, um, if, we, if you can have a bit of a, uh, uh, let's say, a short summary, just the highlights, what you picked up as, as important. Um, as, pre as promised, we will um, uh, put 
the webinar, uh, the recorded webinar on Pi, so you can uh, uh, listen to it once again, and others can listen. And we will put all the, the chat box, all the different suggestions which were raised in the chat box. We will also put that in Pi as input for uh, further discussion. Um, Frode, can you uh, finalize this uh, great uh, webinar, please? Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Diderik. It will be a uh, highly selective, uh, probably, uh, summing up. But uh, anyhow, uh, one of the highlights, I would say, uh, Diderik, is, uh, is your wonderful uh, metaphors. They are they are really uh, really um, helping us to to think and uh, open our minds. Uh, both uh, badges, uh, the duck decoys, the forest avenues, um, both uh, presenting uh, opportunities uh, in all those uh, three main uh, fields or themes, uh, but also uh, looking at dilemmas and uh, and uh, some possible challenges. Um, I th well, uh, 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 both referring from uh, from uh, a little bit of what I observed from the chat box and also from uh, uh, yeah from the experiences uh, shared orally. Uh, I, I realized that, for example, relating to uh, the theme of healthy aging, that uh, th there is a, uh, a strong occupation uh, from several of us. Uh, for having an intergenerational perspective, uh, also looking at the uh, at the uh, interaction with uh, and opportunities for interaction with uh, children, youngsters, adults. Um, there is also a, a, a positively a preoccupation by how to relate social and healthcare, uh, and not uh, looking uh, also when it has to do with uh, institution-based uh, care with uh, with. Uh, uh, care for uh, and health facilities uh, uh, to to be to open up to the larger society to be uh, to enable uh, uh, social uh, meeting points. Uh, maybe maybe one could uh, uh, use the metaphor of uh, of um, social crossroads. Uh, uh, I, I, I mean. Um, uh, enabling uh, uh, meetings, sharing of experiences, uh, uh, sharing with the wider society, in, uh, intergenerational uh, meetings. Uh, uh, when it has to do with uh, with uh, mental health, yeah, I I, I like uh, also this uh, yeah th this balance uh, uh, between protection on the one hand and and protection and safety. And Sally, you, you commented in the in in the chat box about uh, the original uh, meaning of asylum, which is uh, which is safety. Uh, so I I, I, I like that. Uh, I also liked. Uh, 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 I mean, the point from uh, from a couple of you pointing towards that that a, a place, uh, a safe place, a, a good safe place would uh, be a place where everyone could feel safe. Uh, so, so creating better environments uh, when it has to do with with uh, people with mental health challenges uh, really helps us all. Uh, but anyhow, uh, looking at this balance between uh, protection on the one and safety on the one hand, and freedom and opportunities for escape and for flying away on the other hand, uh, I, I think that's that's such an important uh, uh, dimension. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, um, uh, also, um, uh, I found it so interesting. This uh, uh, this uh, organization uh, uh, discussion uh, with the organization of uh, primary care, uh, uh, and also this, uh, including this discussion about uh, about uh, to what extent to close or limit uh, hospitals uh, to, uh, in order to to strengthening uh, primary care, I I realized from uh, trying to follow the chat uh, chat box a little bit uh, that there are different views on, on that, and there are 
for sure uh, uh, very divergent and different experiences with the closing of local hospitals, for example. Uh, but anyhow, it's it's a very uh, it's a very um, uh, important topic. Uh, anyhow, uh, all of you who have been speaking or or chatting uh, uh, are uh, occupied by um, by this important thing of. Uh, uh, of, of having um, uh, a broad uh, uh, a broad and a real user participation uh, even in the chat box uh, using words like uh, democracy uh, I, I think I think that's important well uh, one of you uh, Ein Walton uh, uh, goes on uh, with a tr a three me a three metaphor uh, where, where you point out that uh, old uh, trees my, might feed new ones uh, or giving life to, to new ones uh, so 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 there there so so uh, uh, however one uh, points to the necessity also of a protect protection uh, there is for sure also an, a need for change and uh, and 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 your uh, illustration points also to uh, to change as uh, yeah, as uh, natural as as conservation. Uh, anyhow, I, I think uh, uh, b um, uh, based on this experience from uh, from uh, listening to you all and, and trying as far as possible uh, to be multimedia and and following also the the, the chat box. Uh, I, I feel that we are right in the middle of uh, of. Uh, of the very interesting conversations and discussing we are going to have in uh, the launch meeting in Utrecht. Uh, so I'm looking so much forward to that. I, I don't know most of you uh, yet, but I'm uh, looking so much forward to, to get to know you more and to have uh, ample time for, for discussions. Okay, uh, well, I think with these words of Rode, I think we should finish because uh, we don't want to go over time. Uh, but I think it's been quite interesting. So thank you so much, uh, Diederik, and thank you so much, Frode. But especially thanks to all the participants because I think at the end of the day, without you, this wouldn't have been like so interesting and so participative and so on. So I think, as you said, uh, I think we all look really forward to the primary lunch meeting, but also to the PI input. So I think with this, uh, we can just finish the webinar and uh, yeah, keep going. Uh, we are going to pause, as it was said, we, this webinar has been recorded and uh, we will post everything on Pi, all the inputs that you have gave us. So thank you so much to everyone and uh, have a, a good week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye everyone.